right, we just got out here to a little public pond. It's windy outside, so I'm doing a little interview in the car for you guys. Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. We got Keegan, Cody, and Nathan, and we're gonna go try to stick some fish through the ice. It's a pond I've never ice fished. Um, I fished it about four or five years ago with my dad, float tubed it. Back in the day, we'd, we'd haul our float tubes quarter mile back in here and fish it. But we're gonna walk back in and do a little ice fishing, try to find them, and I'm gonna show you guys um, just kind of some ice fishing basics. So stay tuned and I'll teach you guys a little bit more about what I do. Never forget the toilet paper. You never know when you gotta go. We're all out here sweating. It's a long walk back in here but that's what you gotta do to catch fish sometimes. We're just getting here to the pond. Looks awesome. Show you guys what we're looking for here in a minute on how to find fish in a place you've never ice fished before. So we're gonna get set up, find some fish, set the hood up. We're out here on the middle of the pond. Like I said, I fished this before a few years ago, about five or six, and the deepest spot was kind of out here in the middle where some little stumps stick up. So we're gonna drill some holes next to these stumps and I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but we're gonna try searching for the fish. We're gonna drill about five or six holes around the area where the deepest part of the lake is and their structure and cover. I really recommend getting a drill auger if you do not have one. They're so handy. Pop that in, you're good to go. It's the easiest way to drill holes. I've probably told you guys this in a lot of my last videos, what I like to use. I either like using a little spoon with wax worms when I'm searching, or I'll use a little double rig. Um, what I mean by double rig, I got a little jig down here, and then I got another hook about a foot, foot and a half up the line. That way you can find what depth the fish are holding. Uh, if you don't have a Vexilar, which is a, a depth finder graph for ice fishing, and that's one of the best ways to go about it. So I'm gonna rig this up with a little wax worm and we're gonna search for these fish. I just drilled nine holes around the lake, all by little stumps sticking out of the water, kind of next to the channel, trying to find the deeper spots. Just got rigged up, put wax worms on there. Nathan just caught the first fish of the day in one of the hills, holes I drilled. Look at that. Little female bluegill. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna go after some bluegill crappie. If we get lucky, we'll hit a bass. Here we go. On the spoon, huh? On the spoon. On the spoon. Look, on the at, spoon. That. Look at those Beautiful. colors. Nice. Fish on, baby. Oh, it's a little bass. A little bass. Oh, yeah. There he is. Beautiful little bass. Burr on, baby. See ya. Not bad, not bad. Big bluegill. That's a good one. All right. Got them down twice. Two fish instantly on the spoon. It's awesome. Nathan's hooked up with a bass. Hell, he just got him. At a baby. Nice. On the chartreuse spoon. That's why you use spoons. You don't just catch bluegill. Look at that bass. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful fish, that. man. That's pretty. So cool. Colors on that baby. Look at his mouth. So so pink, dude. Got that wax worm in there. Oh, he Beautiful does. fish. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Sweet. Give me some. Shake and bake. Oh, hello. Okay, we've been out here five minutes. I drilled nine holes. We've caught fish out of four of them, and we've only fished six of them. We've probably already caught ten fish between the four of us. All bluegill except for two bass, my little one, and you just saw Nathan's. So rather than set the hut up, we're gonna fish for a little more, see if one hole is better than the other. Woo a baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude, the bottom lip, dude. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, we can set up over here. I'm down to catch some bass. Woo! Yeah, that's a beautiful one. That's awesome, dude. Good deal, man. Good deal. Just 
pulled a gilly out of a new hole. Not bad, pretty fish. Not bad, I don't have anywhere to set the camera right now, so sorry I didn't get that one on film for you guys. No, my homemade pole. No. Dude, that had some weight to it. I just set the hook on a pig. Snapped my rod, he got off. That is a big bummer, wow. Well, good thing I made it. I'll make another one. Now I've caught some five pound bass on this rod and never broke it, so either it was just its time or that was a lunker. Either way, it was a big fish. We've caught three bass. Um, you saw my rod break. Disappointing, that was my favorite rod. It was so sensitive. It was a medium crankbait bass rod that I used to build it. Anyway, we're gonna set the tent up where Nathan caught two bass in a row and some bluegill. We're gonna go after these bass now. Now I'm a tell the world, tell them. I'm a tell it everywhere I go. Tell the world, tell them. Yeah, I'm a billboard. Tell the world, tell the broadcaster like a radio. Tell the world you ought to know. I'm brand new. Keegan just got hooked up with another bass. <laughs> awesome. They fight so much harder than your crappie and bluegill. Oh, yeah. Sure. Beautiful. Beautiful snowy bass. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, come on. Feisty. There he goes. There we go. Okay, so when we're talking about ice fishing basics, what you need to go ice fishing, you need a rod, a reel. I use four to six pound line. Um, I use a spinning reel. And these are little homemade rods. You don't need a lot to um, go ice fishing for your first time. You can make these rods at home. Usually you're targeting panfish through the ice, at least here in northwest Missouri where I'm at. You'll catch an occasional catfish or bass, but normally you're targeting some bluegill, some crappie. So I like using a little glow jig with a wax worm. Usually you want to take a couple buckets, one to sit on, one to put fish in. Um, if you have a hut, it is a good idea to bring a hut. It helps you beat the elements of nature. And I like bringing a heater along put inside the hut because then you can go fishing when it's below freezing and you don't freeze to death. You can stay out there for multiple hours and catch a bunch of fish. You need an auger as well to drill through the ice. If you're really desperate to go ice fishing, I used to take an axe and cut through the ice. If it was only oh four or five inches thick, you can cut through with an axe pretty well. But I definitely recommend using an ice auger. And be careful. You need at least three inches, I like to say four inches to be safe to go out and ice fish and that's that's got to be good ice if you're at the end of the ice fishing season and you have four inches you might only have two inches of good ice because the top layer the warm weather's probably penetrated it and it might be soft ice you know kind of like an ice cube sits in your water glass for a while when you bite onto it it cracks a lot easier than when when you just put it in your ice it's hard as a brick so take that in, into consideration when you go ice fishing be safe out there and have fun there you go. Ooh, bass? Might be. Yeah, that's definitely a bass. 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 No, if you just get his head up here, I'll get nice. him Nice. No, they're bass. Oh, I'm hooked up. Hooked up. What we got? Big gilly. Big gilly. We got Doubled a double. Up. Yeah, that's a good gill. Heck yeah. Good bass. Can't get my bass I'm hooked over here. About to hit you in the head. <laughs> there we go. Boom. <laughs> Woo. Mine's going back. Oh, apparently oh. mine is too. I missed him, dude. <laughs> he went in the hole. Dang. Oh my gosh, we got like a puddle gosh, of water. Gosh, stop it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> stop splashing like that. My Facebook, I'm sure he's been blowing yours up. Oh. Oh, oh bass. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, he's pulling drag. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Jigging that spoon a little bit. There he comes. There he comes. Oh. Oh, he got off at the hole. No! He got off the hole. Oh, he got a bass over here. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Bass? That's, yeah, probably. Yep, another bass. That's nice. Good. Come back here. Probably we awesome. found a good spot. Yeah, another two-pounder. Beautiful fish. Let's throw him back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I think I'm going to put one of my huge spoons on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good Boom! One. Let's catch another one. Okay, we just moved the hut over to another couple holes where hopefully some more bigger bluegill are. We were catching some one, two pound bass out of the other holes and we caught a couple bluegill but came over here and there's some really big bluegill. It seems like they're loaded up 
Um, there's also bass here too. We have not caught any crappie in this pond yet. Um, maybe there's no more in here. I'm not sure, but we're going to keep going, try to catch some more big bluegill and I would love to catch a giant bass. We'll see what happens. Okay, good bluegill. On a gilly. Haven't even gotten set up yet. I told you they were here. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that'll work. That'll, that'll eat. That'll, that'll eat. work. That'll do. I'll get the hook out of his mouth. That'll Ooh, do. Yeah, I'll wax you back. Nice. Things are like gold since the local bait shop sold out of them. I know. Can't believe our bait shop ran out of wax worms. Felt like a bluegill. There you go. Gilly. Double. Oh, double. Boom. I got one keeper and <laughs> nice. one, one to throw back. That's why I use yeah. the double rig. Right we were there. just talking about that. <laughs> the double rig. <laughs> or hut up where it angled. Oh. So I assume the fish Smash would be there. Double there again. Oh, no way. <laughs> wow. Two doubles in a row. This is unreal. Fish on, baby. Fish on. This is unreal. I caught a good one, too. If I keep pulling them out of that hole like this, I'm going to have my limit in a minute. I know. These are good ones. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. More bass, less bluegill. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Good, good bluegill? That's a fat yeah. one. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's a good one, Cody. That's a really good one. Beautiful. Hey, I won't switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Cody and I are sitting in the hut here. We've been catching a ton of bluegill, and we got our little Mr. Buddy heater going. It's doing its thing. It's 20 degrees out. It's starting to get dark on us, but we've caught a ton of bluegill, some good bass. It's been a good day of ice fishing all around. And we're going to head out. Beautiful sunset tonight. Um, definitely enjoy nature when you go ice fishing. Enjoy the scenery and what God's created. Nathan, you ready to pack up? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, sweet. So we're going to we're going to pack the huts up and <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> nice. Thank you for watching Fishing with Norby. Please subscribe if you want me to keep making videos. Um, I've gotten a lot of support this past month, first month of my channel being out. I appreciate it. But I hope you learned a little bit about the basics of ice fishing. Comment below any questions you have. We're going to pack up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. When it's all said and done, you and I are the lucky ones.